to my channel so I created this eyeshadow look using the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette but I'm sure you can create this with eyeshadows that you already have at home you just need some warm browns, a black and gold or you can just mix it up a little bit make it a little bit different so I made this different unique sort of cut crease um, it was highly requested so I thought I should make a full length video on this so to get started I've already prepped and primed my eyelids and let's get into the tutorial So to get started, I'm taking the shade Nougat as my transition shade and I'm taking this onto my Zoeva 221 blending brush and as we normally do, just buffing that into the crease. I didn't apply tape to the edge of my eye because I didn't want to create a sharp edge, I wanted it to be much more rounded so I'm just slightly rounding it on that outer corner. Next to deepen up the crease, I'm taking the shade Mousse onto my Coastal Scents something, something, something blending brush. This does not have a number on it, but you can just use any fluffy brush. I'm just using this to create my transition, and again, I'm rounding this out slightly on the outer corner. Next, I'm taking the shade Truffled onto the same Coastal Scents brush that doesn't have a number on it. I'm really sorry, but you can use any blending brush, and I'm just doing this to further create my gradient. You want to spend a lot of time blending this, and when you think you're done blending, blend some more. And remember, when in doubt, blend it out. Now I'm taking the shade Licorice, which is a matte black from the palette, and I'm going to be blending this into my eye socket area, not where my crease is, because you have to remember, you are going to be carving out your crease with some concealer, and you want the black shade to show. So, I would be blending this just above where I'm going to be drawing my cut crease, and now I'm taking a clean blending brush and just blending that all together. Next, taking some concealer onto a flat synthetic brush, I'm going to be carving out my cut crease. Take your time doing this, don't rush it like I did, because I'm a silly billy. I have almond shaped eyes which are quite elongated, so I wanted this eyeshadow look to make my eyes look much more round. So you need to look at your eye shape and you need to decide how much you want to round your cut crease off, how high you want to take it and how long you want to take it, how round you want to make it. I personally made mine quite round in the beginning and I did my cut crease slightly above the fold on my eyelid. I actually stole the shade Creme Brulee from the original Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette to apply onto my lid. I'm just using a flat synthetic brush and I'm using this to also set my concealer so it doesn't move around. I'm just patting and sliding this so that I can get the most pigment out of this shade. You can use any gold eyeshadow that you like, but I personally wanted to go with something that was slightly more on the cool side. So, I then, on top of the shade Creme Brulee, went in with the shade Get Lucky by Colourpop, and I just decided to pat that and slide that all over the lid. Again, taking the shade Licorice onto my Zoeva 231 brush, I'm just going to be blending this onto the outer corner, but you'll notice I'm actually rounding this off on the outer edge. I don't want this to look messy, I just want this to be a nice blended round shape, and I'm not elongating it and taking it out too far as well. And now going in with my wing, I'm using my Inglot number no. 77 gel eyeliner, which is the blackest black, and my, I think this is my NARS angled eyeliner brush. I'm trying to create a fairly thin but long wing. You can do this look without a wing, I just added the wing because I wanted to balance out the roundness of this eye look, but you can also wear falsies that taper outwards just to balance it out. Now taking the shade Butter Pecan, we say pecan, doesn't that sound weird? Isn't it better pecan? And I'm just applying this onto my brow bone under my eye and then using the pad of my finger to just blend that out. I've already lined my waterline off camera because I'm a bit of a blinker, but now I'm just shading the shade Licorice under the waterline using a pencil brush. And lastly for my lashes, I'm going to be using the House of Lashes in the style Featherette, and I'm going to be applying this using my House of Lashes, Lash Adhesive, and my tweezers. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the look. If you have any questions, do let me know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye!